Welcome to Complex Custom Subnetting Made Easy. Basically, the idea of subnetting is to get to borrow some bits from the host and make those network bits. So the process works like this. We have a binary value chart that we'll show you in a second. So you memorize or refer to that, write it out if need be, then determine the number of networks and or hosts you need, plot the multiples of the subnets, and then fill in the rest of the addresses you need, which are the broadcast first and last node addresses. All of those basically will uh, then follow. Basically, the idea is this is the value range, starting from here to here, of binary. So the first question is, do I have a certain number of networks in mind, or do I have a certain number of hosts that I need for each subnet? So basically, if we start with this particular value of an IP address, 193.54.5.0, then this is a class C, and we have the entire fourth octet, all zeros, to be able to borrow and use as we see fit. Right now, they are host bits. So these represent the final octet. What we're going to do is borrow some bits from them starting from the left and make those subnet bits. So basically we use this range for both the uh, number of hosts and the number of networks. Uh, and we'll look at a chart in a minute as far as that's concerned. When you're looking at the number of hosts, basically if your subnet has multiples of 32, then you're going to have 30 hosts. If it's 16, you're going to have 14 hosts. You always lose two because one is broadcast and then one is um, the um, ID itself. So when you look at the example down in here, this is pretty much how it works. Uh, if I would like to borrow one bit right here and make that a uh, one instead of a zero, then if you notice right down in here, by borrowing that one bit, I can have two networks of 126 hosts. That would be 2, and then this minus uh, the 2 that we had to take away. If I borrow another one and make that 2, then I'm borrowing 2 bits. I'm going to have 4 net. Again, you just look at the next number on 4 right here. And then we will have uh, 64 minus 2. If we borrow 3 bits and make that a uh, 1 as well, then we're going to end up with eight networks, 30 hosts on each by borrowing three bits. Okay, And then if we keep going, then you're going to have uh, 16 nets, 14 hosts if you borrow four. We're going to have 32 nets with uh, eight hosts per if you're going to be borrowing five. Now basically the idea from this point is once you know exactly what you've got as far as the number of bits and how many networks you're going to get, and how many hosts you're going to get, what you do is decide your multiples. So as an example, the one that I've gotten here where I have three ones borrowed, my last network bit now is 32. So 32 will be my multiple. We'll start at 0, then go to 32, 64, 96, 128, 160, 192, and 224. Those are all of the eight networks that I'll end up with. Now all I have to do then is plot the next to the uh, last one for broadcast, and then the ones in between for first and last host. For my second subnet, there's broadcast, which is one less than this, and then all of those in between are hosts. Makes it much easier to deal this way, uh, practice it a little bit, and I think you will find it is as well. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.